Okay, I promised I would go over how to uh, process the Phragmites arrows. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, if I have enough time today, I'm going to show you how do I straighten these, uh, straighten the reeds over a fire. These have actually been seasoned. They're not dry, they're not dead standing reeds. It's a little bit different process for these because they're they are harder. And hopefully I'll have enough time to, to show how to do the fletching and the uh, mounting of the arrowhead today. Uh, lately I've been working on cooking up some stone. That's my oven over there. That's my latest batch. Uh, some of it broke up and I've got it sitting right here. I'm just now figuring out which stones will break up. They're all very dry to start with. Some of them just blow up. I don't know if it's because of moisture inside or just the nature of the stone. I heat it all to about the same, uh, between 450 and 500 degrees. And uh, as you can see, it's a used oven, very high tech. It has a uh, thermometer on the top, and it will go up to 500 degrees. This batch came out pretty good. This is the latest batch that I've got. Right now I'm just throwing different types of stone in. Uh, I'm getting familiar with which stones work really well. But I'm still kind of new to heat treating. I've heat treated quite a bit lately. Here's some buckets here. This is obsidian so that was not heat treated but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buckets that I've heat treated in the past month or so. And I've been working uh, experimenting on uh, working the different types of stone seeing which ones work really well some stone works really well some is very brittle um, and like I said I just started on that I'll keep you guys updated on the heat treating stuff this is the uh, latest abo tool set for making arrowheads that I've got these are moose billets here. Uh, these two are moose. Let's zoom in here. This is moose also, and it's, an, it's a mallet. Uh, hard hammer stones. Um, this is a pressure flaker I'm working on. It's moose antler, and it's got a hole drilled in it with a stone set in there. It's not glued or anything. And uh, I've been pressure flicking with this, and it works okay, but straight, ang straight antler actually works better, believe it or not. But I'm still, I'm still working with that, see if I can get it to work. Uh, as far as the hardness of the moose, I thought the moose would be a lot harder antler than the, let's say, whitetail. But these two, this is whitetail, and this is the moose. And that to me, they, they're very, very similar in hardness. The only thing different is the weight. And I think it's because the moose is solid all the way through. There's, it's not pithy like um, elk antler. And the billets are a lot heavier than a comparable elk or uh, deer antler. These are very heavy. I prefer the smaller one. Uh, but this one works very well also. This is just a piece of um, smoked brain tan. I've been working on a few arrowheads lately. It's like a Hokia style. And uh, this is a, I just made these up. I'm hoping to, to come up with an original style um, for some arrows in the future. I don't know if these are in the archaeological record or not. But I'm just uh, trying to come up with some original styles. But that's it. I'm going to be working on the arrow videos today and uh, making a fire and so forth. That's it.